In this video lecture, fruits and vegetables are classified with the brief overview of the nutritional aspects of fresh fruits and vegetables shared. Botanically speaking, fruits are produced from the flower of a plant. Fruits are fleshy, juicy, and sweet with a fragrant and aromatic flavor. Fruits are classified by the number of ovaries and flowers into three different categories. First, the simple fleshy fruits develop from a single ovary in one flower and include citrus fruits, droops, and pomes. Citrus fruits include oranges, lemons, and limes. Droops are fruits that have a stone or pit in, in the center of the fruit that encloses the seed. Droops include cherries, peaches, apricots, and plums. Pomes are those that have a core, such as apples and pears. Aggregate fruits develop from several ovaries in one flower. These include berries, such as strawberries, blackberries, pomegranates, and kiwi. Multiple fruits are those that have developed from a cluster of several flowers. Examples of these include pineapple and figs. Vegetables are plants or parts of plants that are used for food. Vegetables can be classified into five different categories. Leaf vegetables come from the leaf of the plant and are high in water and low in carbohydrate, calories, fat, and protein. These are your iceberg, lettuce, romaine, and leafy greens in general. Vegetable fruits are those that are often served as vegetables, but are really the fruit of the plant. Examples of these include tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, and squash. Generally, these have a high water content. The third category are the flowers and stems. These tend to be high in water and low in carbohydrates. Vegetables that are the flower of the plant include broccoli and cauliflower, while asparagus and celery are examples of the stem of the plant. Next are the seeds of the plant. These tend to be higher in carbohydrate. So think of corn, peas, and other legumes. So your starchy vegetables. The final category are those plant parts that are grown underground. So the roots, the bulbs, and the tubers. These tend to be higher in carbohydrate and lower in water. Beets, carrots, and turnips are roots of the plant, while onions, garlic, and leeks are bulbs. Potatoes and sweet potatoes are considered tubers. Many times we count mushrooms as a vegetable, but they really aren't. Uh, mushrooms are a fungus. Fresh fruits and vegetables are nutrient-dense foods, meaning that they are higher in nutrient and lower in calories. The majority of the calories come from healthy natural carbohydrate. Fruits are high in the monosaccharide fructose, while vegetables tend to be higher in starch. Fresh fruits and vegetables are also good sources of fiber, both insoluble and soluble fiber. Many times the fiber is found in the peel or the skin, so when you don't eat the apple skin, you're losing out on some of that fiber. Fruits and vegetables have been shown to have a protective effect against various types of cancer. This is due mostly to the presence of antioxidants and phytochemicals present within the fruit and vegetable. A familiar antioxidant in fruit is vitamin C, and many times the color pigment, such as the lycopene in the red tomato and the beta carotene in the apricot or the pumpkin or the carrot, provide for the phytochemical. With the variety of color pigments present in different fruits and vegetables, dietary guidelines promote that we eat a rainbow of colors every day. In summary, Fruits and vegetables are classified into three and five categories, respectively. Fresh fruits and vegetables are nutrient-dense, foods that are rich in healthy carbohydrates and cancer-preventing phytochemicals and antioxidants.